Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Talk, where today I'm going to be talking about my weight loss journey. This seems to be a, a subject that a lot of people have requested to me, not on here, but through life. But they always want to hear this story, and I really didn't think it was that excited. Did something just fall behind me? Yeah, something fell behind me, but that's okay. I really didn't think it was that exciting uh, until earlier this year, while I was born in quarantine, I decided to take some before and after photos. And those became my most liked and commented uh, posts on social media. So, all right. Well, if that's what people want, that's what I'm going to give them. So, I can't keep that book up. Anyways, <laughs> so where does my story begin? Well, I guess I'll start from uh, from the beginning. So, growing up, I always ate healthy-ish, right? Uh, we didn't go for fast food often and... We ate whole wheat bread regularly, right? The pasta and the rice wasn't whole grain, but bread was. That that counts. And anyways, the point is, uh, like most people, I kind of, you know, struggled with the uh, the weight. Now, I never really felt ugly or anything like that. It wasn't like I had a, a, a negative body image. I just realized that on, on a health based level I was a little overboard you know and so at first I didn't really care because I was a kid but as I grew up I was I'm not gonna say self-conscious but I was aware of that and so when I became a teenager I decided that I wanted to lose some weight and so I tried many things um tried making better eating habits and I tried going out for walks and doing exercises but try as I might I could never really lose the weight. At best, I could lose like 10 pounds, which quickly came back as soon as I stopped trying. And so that was kind of my whole life. Like I would try, and then I would give up, and try, and I would give up. And I never really left the uh, the mark. And, you know, eventually I just sort of accept who I am, and I move on. Right? I just sort of figured, no point in trying, just be happy with who I am and, and move on. And and that's kind of one thing. When I'm not saying saying people should give up on their health, y- you should accept who you are. I feel like that is a good place to be in. So anyways, fast forward. And uh, yeah, I pretty much settled. Those who know me and have me on my personal Instagram, you'll see that I love food. I love burgers. I love pizza. I love all that stuff. And I like going to restaurants and trying to what they offer and I'm an adventurous eater if I've never had it before I want to taste it and so that 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 actually was my life and so in about about two years ago it was May of 2018 no actually it was a little earlier uh it was April of 2018 my church informs me that there's going to be this event that they need me to go to as a representative I didn't really know what it was and they did a bad job of explaining to me what it was they made it sound to me like I was going to be taking like CPR classes or learning how to administer blood pressure. I don't really know what it is that they were asking me, but I wasn't doing anything. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go. It's just one weekend, right? And y'all paying, so it's cool. So I went with a group of four others. So we were a total of five of us. And I'm not going to say who the others were or why they went. I'm just letting you know because this is my story. This is why I went, right? Because uh, I had nothing else better to do. So that was in May. So the event shows up and the five of us go. We don't know what to expect. It's packed. Like the event is packed. There's people from all over New England and elsewhere. People as far as Canada and Florida showed up. Which I'm like, wow, what is this thing? And then a guy comes out and he starts uh, speaking to us and everything. And I, and I quickly learned that this has nothing to do with the medical side of things. It wasn't about blood pressure or CPR. This was about health and the importance of not only living a healthy life, but telling others how to live healthy. And, and, and it quickly became obvious that this was some sort of like seminar to prepare us to start a, a health-based ministry, which at that point in my life, I was like, mm, yeah, no, I think, I'll, I, I think I'm going to stick with my burgers. Thank you very much. I don't need it. But this was a whole weekend. And, and, and the more it went, the more what they were saying made sense. And there's a lot of people out there who are unhealthy. 
but they don't know why because they have the wrong information. And so it's not so much about us changing people's mind as it is about us giving people the information so that they can make up their own mind. And so that convinced me, or at least that made sense to me. And so the more it went on, the more I liked it and the more I came to enjoy it. And eventually this weekend thing was over and all of us, all five of us were we're like, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to go out there. We're going to help people and everything. And yeah, that was a fun week. But then the next week, we were all sitting down and uh, one of us decides to address the elephant in the room, right? If we're going to if we're going to talk the talk, we have to walk the walk. It's not good enough for us to go out and tell people, hey, you should be healthy because of this. If we ourselves are not doing those things, if we ourselves are not being the healthiest. So you know, we all said that and we all agreed that if we're going to do it, we have to commit. And then I quickly became discouraged and later everybody else became discouraged. And so that was the end of that. And so I, I moved on. I completely forgot about it. I kept living my life. I kept eating my pizza, kept eating my burgers because, you know, I wasn't going to give it up for this ministry. Mm -mm, no way. So, yeah, uh, I always block the clock and I have no idea what time it is. Anyways, <laughs> months go by and it's summer and I'm just living my best summer, eating as much as I want, as many excited foods as I want, uh, as, I can, as I can find. And then that summer, my weight starts ballooning out of control. Like I was struggling to put clothes on. Now I'm a cheap person. I don't like spending money on clothes. So when I have clothes, I tend to wear it for a really, really long time. So I realized that this is not good. I'm not fitting into my clothes. And each day, it seems like I was bigger and bigger. And at first it was funny. Then it was annoying. And then it was just sad. Not sad, crying, but sad, like, like pathetic. Like I couldn't fit into my clothes. But even then, I was kind of like ignoring it. However, it got to the point where I was like, no, no, we can't do this. Because I'm not about to buy an entirely new wardrobe. So I decided... I have to lose the weight. So I start doing everything that I knew how to do. You know, I start doing the exercises and the walking and I start controlling my portions and avoiding things that high in fat, calories and uh, sodium. And uh, try as I might, my weight just, just wasn't going down. But I didn't give up this time. I was serious that I was going to get down to my old size because I wasn't about to buy new clothes. So one day, uh, it was 10 days uh, after I started this diet. I get back home. I'm in my room. Hey, you're so curly. I'm just sharing about my weight loss journey. So as I was telling them, uh, in the summer of 2018, I gained a lot of weight. And so I decided to lose the weight in my own terms. So after 10 days of exercising and dieting, I get back home. I sit on my chair. I was actually wearing this pair of shorts behind me. That's why I put it up there. I was wearing this, this pair of shorts behind me. And when I sat down, the button pops out of my shirt, it just pops out and it flies across the room and into the hallway. I have the button right here. This is the button that popped out. So that happens and when I tell people this story, they find it humorous and I guess it is kind of comical that a button would pop out and fly out. But this was real life for me, like this happened. I actually was trying to lose the weight and 10 days later, the button pops out of my shorts and that happens. And I just stayed there in, in, in that chair for like 20 minutes, looking at the button and just reflecting on life and life choices. And I was wondering, like, is this it? Is, is this life now? Where does the road lead from here? And it, it was it was really getting at me mentally. And, you know, sometimes you hear stories from people saying I should have changed my life what I, what I could, but now it's too late. So I, I was I was thinking, this is it for me. This is the threshold. This is where I decide if I change my life or not. And at that point, I was reminded of the health-based classes that I was, you know, that, that, that I went to that thing in, in May. And I should mention, it was, this was about mid-August of 2018. So I, I, rem I remember that. And I'm thinking, should I do that? But it was also kind of late. It had been like three months. No, actually more than three months. Four months? Three? No, it had been, yeah, it had been three months and it was probably late and I did, really didn't want to do it. And I kept thinking about it. I kept thinking about it and I kept thinking about it. So the next day I go back and I'm on my walk and I'm, and I'm, and I'm you know, 
trying to get all those exercises in. When I get a phone call from my friend, he was one of the people that went with me to the event in May. And he calls me, asks me how I'm doing. And he's like, hey, Eli, uh, I've been thinking about the training and I think we should do it. And so he says that you're random out of the blue. And I have to agree with him because of what happened the day before. And then we both agree that we were going to sign up and we were going to do it together. <sighs> and then he never signed up. <laughs> well, so I sign up and I, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. All I know is I tried to lose the weight on my own and it wasn't working. So I'm like, OK, God, just you take over. Let me let me take this training. Maybe it'll work out for me. So I, I sign up and I think through, uh, there was a problem with the registration. So I, they end up processing me three weeks later. So three weeks go by after I sign up and then they allow me to, to, to start. And this is important because a lot happens in three weeks. I was still dieting. I was still exercising and I was still getting nowhere. Uh, on the church side of thing, my pastor started doing something where every every night, every weeknight, he would meet with us to have a study, not health related, but just a study. So I was going to that as well. So by the time I actually am able to start the health training, I'm dividing my time between work and the church thing. So I'm like, Ugh, am I going to have time for this health based training? But I also realized that I had had signed up late and they registered me so late that I didn't want to hold everybody else doing a health training behind. So I just decided I'm going to buckle down and start start studying. So I start doing that and I start taking the training. And not even five days after I start taking the training, our pastor says he wants us to buckle down with his church seminars that he's doing. And so now I really don't have time. So I tell the pastor, like, look, I, I can't do both. So I'm not saying I'm, I'm not going to do yours. I'm just saying if I don't show up, please understand. The pastor understood and he actually was very nice about it. And uh, that just made it worse for me because now I felt guilty. So I decided I'm going to do both. I'm going to make the time somehow. I'm not going to watch any television, no video games, no social media. I'm just going to sit down and cram this, uh, this information. And I did. I didn't have a life. I, I, every spare second, I was, I was listening to these things and, 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 and taking the test and... And so I think it was a month and a half later or one month, I'm actually able to finish the health training and I felt exhausted, but I did it. It was worth it. So I'm, I'm doing the final steps of the training to, so that the, it acknowledges the ending. But then I realized that there was a glitch and I'm like, no, this can't be right. You, you can't glitch now. So at this point I, I call, no, I mess, I email the, uh, the people in charge. I'm like, Hey, I finished everything and I'm getting this error. Uh, what's going on? And I didn't hear back from them that day. So I go to church that night because, again, we had a seminar every night. So I go to church right now. The pastor shows up. He asked me to stand up and come up front with him. And I don't know what's going on. So I go up front. And then he announces that apparently I was the first person in like the region or the union or the conference to finish the training. And that I that he's been getting phone calls congratulating him from having me in my church, in his church. And I'm just like, wait, wait, what? I was the first one to finish? I thought I was late. <laughs> Apparently, everybody else had given up. And seeing me finish fills everybody up with energy to, to finish up. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is the weight loss journey. Well, I did learn a lot of health-based things during that training that I put into practice. And then lo and behold... That weight that I had gained that was ballooning out of control also started going down, like out of control. Just as, even faster than how it went up, it went down. And so I was, I was losing the weight and I was, I was feeling great. And then all of a sudden, another problem is that my pants are too big. Like I could fit my fist between my waistline and, uh, no, between my waist and, uh, yeah, the, the waistline of the pants. And actually, I could, some of them I can fill, fit two fists in there. That's how how much weight I lost and, I, and it, it was surreal because it happened so fast and I've never been that small that I didn't quite know how to process that but yeah so what are some of the things that I did well first and foremost let, let me tell you guys that every everybody every physical body is different 
So not every, not my diet may not work for all of you. And second of all, if you are going to do a diet, consult your doctor. And I'm serious about that because I am not a doctor. I am not giving you medical advice. I don't want you to try to emulate my diet and then get sick and then blame me because I, I didn't tell you to do that. So what did I do? Well, as you can see by my shirt, veganism, but or at least a plant-based diet. But I didn't start off that way. You see, I've always heard that meat and animal products have a lot of fat in them. So yeah, one of the first things that I did with my diet was I cut out meat and I cut out dairy. I still ate eggs, but I cut out meat and dairy. And like I mentioned earlier, I also ate foods that were low in fat, calories, and sodium. I didn't really worry about carbohydrates and sugar because I needed those for energy. But fat, sodium, and uh, calories, those, those three I was watching and I was measuring my, uh, my portions. I had this very tiny bowl and so the rule was everything I was going to eat had to fit in that bowl. If it didn't fit in the bowl, then I was eating too much. So that was something that I did. Uh, it worked for me. Is it going to work for everyone? I, I don't know. Uh, I bought some dumbbells. Oh, I forgot to put the second row of dumbbells, but here's. Here's two of my dumbbells, and I bought these, these Get Fit game cards, which I believe this is, this is the unopened one, no? Yeah, yeah, you open them up, and they got little things to do, and it comes with this, this dice to randomize how many sets you're supposed to do. So I was trying to have, you know, my, my new, my new lifestyle be fun, because that was something that I realized, um, I didn't just want to do a diet and then go back to my old life and basically gain it all back. I knew that I wanted to make a permanent change. I didn't realize what that permanent change was going to be, but I knew that I wanted permanent change and it had to be doable. I had temporarily given up meat at first and that probably helped a lot because the plan was never for me to go vegan or to go plant-based. The plan was simple. I was going to temporarily give up meat while I lost the weight. And then when the weight was off, I would eat meat sparingly, meaning a lot less than what I used to eat it. So that was, you know, that was the plan. However, because of everything that I learned in the health training, I started being swayed. And it was weird because I kind of saw it coming and I, and I didn't want to, like I was struggling with myself and I was struggling with God, like, God, you are not going to make me give up my steak. Mm -mm. you got something else coming if you think you, you're gonna give make me give up my burgers you need to make me give up my my fried chicken my pizza no way uh but again at first i was just sort of focused on the now not the future so the now was i needed to lose weight and i needed to get healthier and i needed to you know make my life better and i completely cut out uh I forget what it's called, processed pasta, and I started doing whole grains. So I cut out a lot of things, including meat and dairy. And uh, yeah, I do. I, I always tell people that I didn't give up meat all entirely. Uh, when I made the decision, I decided that I was going to eat tuna twice a week, right? Tuna twice a week. And then I decided that I was going to be tuna once a week and then tuna once every two weeks. And uh, I kept doing that until I completely forgot to eat tuna. And the tuna ran out and it just, it just never went back. Uh, I also ate eggs at, during this diet because I figured that a boiled egg was good. I don't eat eggs anymore or tuna. Uh, but that was during the transitioning process that I didn't realize was a transitioning process. I just thought it was a diet. Uh, but yeah, I, I started being swayed with all this knowledge about lifestyles and healthier things. And I really didn't want to do it because I love my food. But I was just... Focus. So anyways, I, I get the weight off and I'm learning all these things and it, it really was a blessing. And I actually started looking into vegan recipes because uh, food is life and I love trying new recipes. That's just who I am. So I sort of figure out, hey, I don't have to be a vegan to eat vegan food. And this is actually true. Like my whole life, uh, I've eaten vegetarian and vegan products. Right now, they make it sound like you have to choose a team. You don't necessarily have to choose. Again, I grew up on veggie burgers and... I liked real beef, real meat, real beef burgers, but I also didn't think veggie burgers were terrible. Oh, some of them are terrible. Some of them are okay. Some of them are excellent. But 
you don't have to choose and you don't necessarily need the veggie burger to taste like me. I think I, I think there's been this weird war going on over them. No, you, you can have both. It's fine. So anyways, fast forward and I've been doing this diet for a while and I've been giving up a lot of meat. And so at this point, it's like November and Thanksgiving is right around the corner and I'm known for many things such as loving my turkey and I'm known for uh, my cranberry sauce, which is vegan, that's not a problem. But I'm also known for my green bean casserole, which is vegetarian, but not vegan. And so, whew, now it's, it's one of those things where it starts getting real. Am I going to go back? I always say that Thanksgiving is the, rehear- is the dress rehearsal for Christmas. <laughs> And I love me Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving dinner. So, yeah. Um, it, it, it starts happening and I'm getting ready. And the whole time I got the, the thing, am I going to eat the turkey? Am I going to eat the turkey? All these months I had joked up to people that I was still going to eat my turkey on Thanksgiving, even if I was a meat eater once a year. And so as the weeks approach and I'm like one week away, my conscience won't let me sleep. You're not going to eat a turkey. Right? That, that was, that was the, the Lord telling me. You're not going to eat it. You're not going to eat it. You're not going to eat it. And I just I just felt so bad. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not going to eat it. So I decide I'm going to make my own Christmas dinner. Not Christmas dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. And so I make, I get, you know, I make my own tofu. And I make a small meal. Because I wasn't really thinking. I just thought, this is going to be for me to eat while the family's eating. Well, it turns out that the family had given up on Thanksgiving because a few things were happening, plus me not eating meat to sort of figure no one's really eating. So just like that, they see me cooking and then my food ended up becoming everyone's food. (laughs) So my personal Thanksgiving dinner ended up becoming everyone else's Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, I had promised the church that I was going to make them a green bean casserole. And this was like way before, like the previous year, I had promised them I was going to make it. And it was funny because I had to make a green bean casserole when I myself wasn't eating cheese or anything like that. And uh, I still had to make it because I promised them. But there was like a very bad weather day that Thanksgiving. So the church Thanksgiving project was canceled. So I ended up staying with the green bean casserole, or which again, the family ate. And it was just hilarious because it ended up being unintentionally my uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Excuse me. Scratching my nose off camera. Uh, so did it get easy after that? Well, because I hadn't really made an announcement of my diet when Christmas got, came around. First of all, my birthday's around Christmas. So a bunch of people decided to surprise me with cake and ice cream, which I can't eat. And it was one of those things where... I could have said no, but it was rude because nobody knew that I had giving up, that I, that, that I had become plant-based. So if I, if I rejected it from them, it was going to feel rude. So it was like funny because I got through Thanksgiving, like I wasn't being tempted from the food, but then it was like a temptation because I didn't want to let my peers down. And the whole time I was struggling, like... Do, am I going to go full-time vegan or not? I don't know. And at that point, I realized that not only did I have to do it, but I had to tell people about it. Because right now, everybody still knew me as Eli, the guy who likes, you know, veggie burgers and pizza. I mean, not veggie burgers, burgers and pizza. So I realized, like, okay, fine. So for the Christmas, I did eat some, some, uh, some dairy products. I didn't eat meat, but I did eat some dairy products. And uh, yeah, then I announced to the world 2019. I'm vegetarian, and uh, that was that was the the first half, the first six months, let's say. Actually, it was probably less than the first four months. The first four months, my weight went up really high, and then it went back down really low. So now it's 2019, and uh, the cat's out of the bag that I'm that I'm going vegan, and so the next step was exercising. I wanted to make my routine more friendly because I had already lost the weight. In fact, I had lost so much weight that my body was trying to look girlish, like too delicate. So I'm like, let me maybe increase my my calories because I'd rather look a little bit pudgy than to look girly. 
I know that's that's not exactly the healthy but health based thing. But that was it. And I also wanted a a, a routine that would tone my body, give me a little bit more muscle, just so that I look manly. Because again, now the problem was I, I, I was thin, but I was too thin. <laughs> I was starting to look like a girl. I didn't want to look like a girl. So I started doing, that's why I got the dumbbells, by the way. And I have another set, but I forgot to put them on a the table. And uh, oh yeah, that, that's just my, my, my cookbook. I'll get to this later. Uh, DVDs and stuff. This book should be this one. Okay, so. I started doing the exercise and it is boring. Like try as I might, I can't get into the habit of doing it regularly. And I bought a, a yoga mat so that I could do sit-ups and push-ups on it. And I just couldn't get into it. But again, the weight loss was amazing. Everybody kept complimenting me. And uh, yeah, it, w it was really good. And I just knew that now, I ha well, now that I'm vegan, now I have to keep it up. Otherwise people are gonna, gonna be like, oh, you look at Eli and so on. So. Uh, there were a few naysayers that kept saying that I looked sickly and other people that were claiming that I wanted to take their meat away, which is not true. Uh, I would, Just because it worked for me doesn't mean I'm going to like shove it down everyone's throats. It worked for me. Maybe it won't work for you. I don't know. Consult a doctor. Either way, I'm no doctor. Remember that. Consult a doctor. Uh, yeah, so that the next summer, so summer of 2019, it's interesting because... Nobody wants to invite me to their barbecues because they know I'm vegan. And I'm like, just because I'm vegan doesn't mean I can't go to your barbecues. It just means I won't be able to eat at your barbecues. I can still be there. Barbecues are a fun experience. Like, invite me to your barbecues. I don't care if you're grilling meat. I'll bring my own meat, my own veggie meat, bring some tofu. I'll eat it. But yeah, I guess, I guess it makes me a wet blanket. So I understand on that side of things. But man, I miss barbecues. Barbecues were fun. Invite me to your barbecues, you guys. Or maybe invite me to a vegan barbecue. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, not right now. I guess right now we have social distancing. Anywho, that's when I heard about this game, Ring Fit Adventure, which is for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I did not have a Nintendo Switch at the time, but it seemed fun. It seemed so fun that I wanted to give it a try. After all, I was still struggling with keeping an exercise routine. Now, here's the thing. I had lost the weight, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm, uh, I'm still at a point where I felt comfortable, but I know that part of being healthy actually is moving your body, right? Even if you don't gain or lose, you have to move it to get all those health benefits, and I wanted those health benefits. So 2019 was kind of a, a, a very, there was a lot going on that year. So after everything died down in late October of 2019, I went out and I bought Ring Fit, and I bought my Nintendo Switch. And uh, I've been playing that game, and uh, yeah, I think I played it for over 150 days straight, nonstop, because that game is addicting. You you do all these. I should probably play that game on stream here one day. But anyways, yeah, it it it, it was. I'm gonna pull it over here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this Ring Fit Adventure. Yeah. So you 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 basically run in place and you squeeze and you do squats. And uh, okay, what else do you do? You do a whole lot of exercises, but it makes it fun because it presents it as an interactive adventure. So when you're running in place, your character is moving in the overworld. So it feels like you're moving and you're exploring. And it was just, oh, this, this game has been such a blessing. I know it's not an ad, but this really is a, a, a great, great game. So where does that leave us now? Uh, well, it's been two years, definitely has been two years. Since this whole thing started, how am I feeling? I'm feeling great. I will say this. I have gained a little bit of weight during the past two months, but that has to do with quarantine and the weather. Quarantine makes it so that I can't really go out and do stuff as, as much as I want to. And the weather has been really hot, so exercising hasn't been great. Oh, also because of quarantine, I haven't been working. And so the quality of my ingredients has gone down. I've been eating a lot of canned foods. Uh, so I have gained a little bit of weight, not all of my former weight, but I have gained some of it back. So please understand that. Uh, but yeah, I'm feel I feel great. I'm still loving it. I have no intentions of going back. People always ask me, "Do you miss me?" And the sure answer is, I don't miss me, but I miss the social aspects of me. Again, I miss barbecues. 
I miss randomly going out for pizza. I miss randomly going out for burger. Like there is such a food culture in our society that you take for granted that when you can't eat these things, you sort of are the wet blanket. Like you, you're sort of left out. And I miss the social aspects of meat. I don't really miss meat. Do I miss the taste somewhat? I don't know what would happen if I ate meat right now. Would I, would I still like the taste? Or has it been so long that my palate were rejected? Um, my family still eats meat. They still cook and eat meat around me. I've never had a problem where I wanted to eat what they're eating. Like I always, always eat my stuff. And uh, yeah, I ignore them. And my family, for the most part, has been understanding. I'm not going to say supportive. They haven't always been supportive. But they've always been understanding. I know last Thanksgiving, uh, they tried to make as many vegan items as possible. And then when it wasn't possible, then it wasn't possible, you know? But... They, they they try to accommodate me. And so I, I feel that that's very much appreciated. It always helps when you have a family that, you know, understands, even if they're still going to eat their meat. And if they still think you're crazy for giving up that flavor. Um, but yeah, I don't really miss it. The best way I can explain it is you look at motor oil, right? You, you don't think of it as food. And that's kind of how I feel now. Uh, I don't think of meat or animal products as food anymore i just think that it's something that people consume but it's not not for me um one thing that i wanted to say is that when i did lose my the weight it happened incredibly fast and part of me was thinking if i knew it was this easy i would have done it years ago uh, the the giving up the meat and the cheese, right? It, it really wasn't that that big. And I, overall, I feel like I gave up very little, even if I had to readjust everything. But for me, that was a good thing because I love a good challenge. Um, since I couldn't do most of my old recipes, I've had to sort of relearn how to make everything new from scratch. And to me, that is great. Like I said earlier, I'm known for my green bean casseroles and Last year, so last Thanksgiving, I wanted to make a green bean casserole, but I can't anymore. So I started looking into vegan recipes and they weren't being very helpful. So I decided to look into non-vegan recipes and see if it, if I could like adapt them. So I made three different new versions of green bean casserole, none of which were actually casseroles. <laughs> but they had green beans in them and mushrooms and onions. And so it's it's been fun because I have to relearn how to do everything. And it's a challenge. And... My whole thing is I don't want things to taste like they used to. I just want them to taste good in a new way. So if, if you're going to make this switch, remember that. And even if you don't give up meat, you just want to try eat healthier, just understand that just because it doesn't taste like the old thing that you like doesn't mean it's bad. It can still be good. Baked chicken can still be good, even if it's not grilled. You just have to season it right. Put a little marinade on it, you know, just a little lemon, a little pepper. Delicious. So uh, I'm, I'm sort of starting to ramble now. So I'm going to say this, right? Because this is still Thursday talk. This is still the, uh, the youth ministry page. So salvation is also kind of like losing weight, right? If you, you're given a gift, right? And you have to make some changes in it. Sometimes it might feel like you're giving up a lot in the world, but what you get out of it is is so much more and much and it's kind of like me how i felt like it was too easy like i if i knew going vegan was that easy i would have done it years ago well salvation is also like that you you're you're giving up so little and you're what you gain is absolutely incredible and so i kind of wanted to to leave you guys with that because you know hashtag jesus ash probably kept out of thought of a better hashtag before <laughs> recording this but yes uh, anyways that is my diet dieting experience so to recap i love eating fast food and not just fast food i love eating good food and i love going to restaurants and trying their signatures uh my weight ballooned out of control and i had to i was at a threshold right or yeah, threshold. Do I keep going what I've always done or do I make a change? I chose to do a change and at first I had no idea what it was doing. But once I informed myself, and that's probably a good one, do your research before you guys uh, make any diet change. And again, see a doctor. So after 
after educating myself and doing the right things, yeah, it was surprisingly easy. And most of the weight that I lost was lost not through exercise, but through diet, which is the crazy part. I actually started exercising about four months after I started this whole process. So yeah, about two months after I lost all of the weight, I started exercising. And that is that is insane. So yeah, you guys, that is my story. I understand that everybody's body and metabolism is different. This may not work for you. Maybe you did the exact same thing and, and, and you, you were met with failure. Uh, don't give up. There, there's, there's probably a diet out there for you. And I know I say this a lot, but consult a doctor before trying anything. I don't want you, I don't want you getting sick. This over here uh, is the uh, certificate they gave me for finishing the health training course. And that's my cookbook. I think I already went over these. Yeah, yeah, I did. So yeah, I guess we're done here. So that was the shorts button popped out. Got it, all right? So with that said, thank you for watching. And yes, God bless everybody. And I'll see you next week. Bye.